Hey guys, today I will be flying on Air Canada's business class on their 737 all the way to Calgary. But first, we have a special guest joining us. I'm literally just your sister. Uh, okay. Anyway, she was here for a soccer tournament. We are right now in Tremblant, so we're gonna head all the way to Montreal. So guys, we finally made it to the Maple Leaf Lounge uh, after all that commotion. Right now, though, we only have about 15 minutes before boarding, so I'm just going to try and get some uh, bites in. Mila, how are you liking it? Uh, so we just boarded uh, on time and all good. The flight attendants just handed out bottles of water, which is something new actually our Canada is doing. They used to not give waters out uh, pre-departure, so really nice. The crew also distributed clean care packages, which were far smaller than what they used to be, only containing a mask, wipes, and hand sanitizer packets. After we took off, the crew wasted no time in handing out the menu cards for today's dinner service, featuring one hot meal option. And then shortly after that, our meal was served, as well as a round of drinks. So it looks like Air Canada brought back uh, their tray service. Uh, so I'm really impressed. Uh, this also includes glassware. For once I can say Air Canada provided us with a delicious meal, and I'm thrilled to see the return of their fuller meal service including real china plates and glassware. The main dish was a creamy spinach and cheese ravioli tossed in an arabiata sauce. The meal also featured a bowl of fresh mixed greens, a slice of a cappuccino cheesecake, and a bread roll. 
I gotta say that this was definitely the highest quality meal I've had on a plane so far this year, and the cheesecake did not disappoint. After dinner I went to the economy cabin in hopes to film a seat, but to my surprise, the entire cabin was full. I have to admit though that I was actually pretty happy to see this. It demonstrates that we are all one step closer to putting this pandemic behind us and bolstering the recovery of travel. Later on in the flight, when the sun was starting to set, the flight attendant came by with a snack tray consisting of Kit Kats and bags of sweet and salty Hershey's mix, both of which I indulged in. I also went with another ginger ale. About 45 minutes after the final snack service, we landed in Calgary. So, Lila, what did you think of flight number one? It was really great. Yeah, I liked it a lot. What about the crew? Yeah, the crew was actually surprisingly really nice, considering it was a late flight. Okay. We arrived in Vancouver late due to a delay on our first flight from Calgary. Luckily, the airport was very well marked and we had no trouble finding our gate. The plane that would be carrying my sister and I was Air Canada's flagship Boeing 777-300ER registered under the number of C-FIUV and would take us over the Rocky Mountains, prairies and the Great Lakes to reach the hot and humid city of Toronto. Today I will be sitting in the second, smaller business class cabin arranged in a 1 to 1 configuration, and today's seat is 9A. This seat, in my opinion, along with 9K, are the best in the cabin. First of all, you get three whole windows to yourself, and there is no one in front of you, just a bulkhead, which gives you even more space for your belongings, or when it's time to rest, your legs. The feature that is most noticeable is the massive Panasonic touchscreen TV which houses a lot of music, movies, TV and shopping content. Underneath the in-flight entertainment system, you will find the wooden grain finished tray table which can be adjusted into an array of different positions and folds out to make for a massive surface. Underneath all of this is the magazine rack and here you will notice the abundance in legroom. The ottoman was so far away that 5 foot 10 me struggled to reach it. Up above in the shell of the seat, you'll find an adjustable reading light. Overall, I really like these seats as the fabric padding is very comfortable. The left side of the seat features a modern wooden panel and the seat controls in which you can carry out functions such as putting the seat into bed mode or calling the cabin crew. Just above this, you will find the gigantic side console, which is home to a storage cubby which contains a universal power port, TV remote, USB charging port, and a headphone jack. And finally, on the inboard side of the seat, there's another small cubby hole under the adjustable leather armrest containing the provided water bottle and noise-canceling headset. So guys, beside us is actually Air Canada's Dreamliner with their special Olympic livery, Fly the Flag.
Unlike my flight to Vancouver, we started our pushback on time, and Air Canada's new, more creative safety video started to play. If there is a need to evacuate Unlike my first flight from Montreal, the menu cards were handed out shortly after takeoff, featuring one hot meal option. Though unlike my previous in-flight meal, this meal was served covered, looking like pieces of garbage. But luckily, on the contrary, the food was not. Today's meal featured pieces of chicken in a tasty porcini mushroom sauce and pasta, along with a bowl of mixed greens, a tuna egg tomato salad, and a box with contents of cheese, fruit, and a Nanaimo bar. Uh, so here I have my meal. Um, uh, this meal provides a bit more food than uh, the previous flight. Uh, it does include its own appetizer, actually. Uh, as well as a small box of cheese, fruit, and an Nanaimo bar. So, um, it's pretty good and I guess I'm gonna try it. After lunch, I did my usual walk around the plane. The main galley is located between the business class cabin in which I was seated in and the forward, larger one. Here, the flight attendant set up a small self-service drink box? I'm not sure what that was. Anyway, the bathroom is also located here featuring a nice wallpaper, 
Vitruvia Manadis sanitizing packets and a window, which is always a nice touch to have in an airplane bathroom. During my walk around the plane, I also checked out Air Canada's economy, spread across three large cabins arranged in a 343 configuration. Each seat offers decent legroom, a seat pocket, a fold-out tray table, and a small touchscreen. Each seat also features an adjustable headrest. I gotta say that this economy cabin is far less impressive than WestJet's, Air Canada's soon-to-be international competitor. After exploring the plane, I went back to my cabin where I made my bed in preparation for some rest. Air Canada does provide some of the nicest bedding out there, comprised of a plush pillow, warm duvet, and comfy mattress pad. And after my nap, there was a small snack service. Uh, so guys, the second snack service was provided uh, for this flight, and this time it wasn't served uh, in a basket or a tray like the last flight. Uh, it was actually, uh, you had no choice, they just gave you a bag of potato chips and a chocolate bar. So. Uh, it seems that the service on Air Canada is sort of inconsistent at the moment. I'm guessing that's because uh, right now they are slowly bringing back uh, their fuller service. So, uh, yeah. Soon after I was done munching on my snacks, the captain made his final announcement that we had begun our descent into the greater Toronto area. Lila, what did you think of the flight? It was good, I liked it. Okay, how was that uh, flight attendant? Oh, she was super nice. She reminded me of your mom. So, that was my experience flying Air Canada's business class uh, in summer 2021. I post one new video a month, so make sure to like and subscribe.